So this tutorial is a bit of a request from the uh, Prestige Emblem uh, videos I've been doing and somebody asked how to make the metallic type texture or effect that I'm using in a lot of these so I'm gonna show you quickly how to do that and we're gonna make a gold type shield or disc and give that a metallic texture and then on top of that we're gonna do kind of like this crimson red star um, and give that some depth and show you some quick um, lighting and, and, and shadow effect so I've created this 1200 by 1200 canvas, um, 1200 pixels, and it's 72 dpi, and I've gone ahead and I've filled the background with a dark gray. And you want to drag out some guides to find your center point. So I've got guides right at the center point, and a quick way to do that, if you didn't know, is to make sure your rulers are on. So Control r toggles the rulers. And since we know that it's a 1200 canvas you can drag out to 600 pixels and that's the center so you want your elliptical marquee tool and let's go ahead and choose a gold uh, kind of color for the background and this is around 200 170 0 something like that create a new layer and holding shift and alt from the center drag out a circle and control delete to fill it with the background and you can deselect and then let's go ahead and drag out another circle and let's go a little bit bigger create a new layer and let's fill this with white and then the white disk let's go to filter noise add noise and you want it bumped up pretty tall one maybe 150 160 percent Gaussian for the distribution and monochromatic hit OK come back to filter blur radial blur make sure the amount is set to 100% blur method should be spin and quality should be best and you should click OK and let it think at least my computer needs to think there we go next step here is to set this uh, blend mode to color burn and let's get rid of this black excess here so if you control click your layer with the gold in it and then select inverse and then just delete by pressing delete or backspace on your disk you can get rid of that that uh, excess there and just to double check we want to do we do we want color burn okay so another trick is to go ahead and create some a little bit of a stepped gradient ring effect so on your gold disk um, layer go ahead and, and hold shift and alt and we're going to drag out another circle but not all the way to the edge kind of find a good um, point to create an another batch of color so let's go to image adjustments hue and saturation and just bump, bump the lightness up a hair Kind of like so. Hit OK. Uh, deselect that and let's make another selection and kind of pull out another circle from the center. Image, adjustments, hue and saturation. And let's bump the lightness up even more. Hit OK. So now we got kind of this stepped ring effect. Next thing you want to do is go to layer um, effects and choose bevel and emboss and we want our we don't want global light selected we want it to be at the very let's do it at the very top so 90 degrees on the angle technique we want chisel hard and let's go ahead and bump down the opacity of the shadow mode or the shadow or actually um, we don't want color burn burn there we want overlay let's switch that to overlay and that'll help uh, kind of make that a, a tad more subtle than the multiply and you can click OK on that and then the next step is to do an angle gradient effect so above all layers select another layer and select your gradient tool and I've already got one of these done which you want your gradient to look like this so if you open your gradient editor see how I have alternating black and white uh, color selections and they're, they're, there's a lot of them and they're pretty tight so you want something like that and click OK 
and then you want to select this angle gradient uh, tool and it's um, if you're using the gradient selector up here it's the one in the middle so let's drag from the center outward and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you go as long as it's from the center and do something like that and then we're gonna set this mode to overlay and we're gonna start getting that disk effect and let's turn the opacity down to about 30 35 percent alright remember the last how we do that selection so control select the disk layer select inverse and we're gonna get rid of the excess there all right and see it's it's looking like a like a metal disk <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and take that uh, that gradient layer and let's make a duplicate copy and hit control T and we're gonna rotate it kinda kinda like so we're just gonna vary it up a little bit and with your eraser tool um, pick a soft brush kind of for this canvas size around 200 and let's just get rid of some of these edges so it, it doesn't uh, become too crazy here we go and actually let's get rid of this little hard edge on the, the layer below it too if I hide the guide you can see it's a kind of a metal um, uh, piece of ringed gold <laughs> thing and that's really the quick way to do it. You can do uh, more effects on top of it and whatnot and make uh, more layers and, and uh, you know, fine tune this. But for time's sake, um, we're just going to kind of stop there and you, it, it's going to give you the effect you want. So if you hold shift and select all these layers and then cl click the, uh, the folder icon below, we can group those into a folder. And I'm going to call this gold disk. And let's go ahead and make a new layer, turn our guides back on, and let's make a star. So I've got kind of a red color selected here. And it's not totally red, but it's uh it's kind of it's not too dark. And then come over here to your um your polygon tool, select that, make sure it's five sides, and then if you click this little arrow, you can you have this option to make it a star. So if you click on the star and let's indent the sides by 40 percent and then from the center if you hold shift and just go straight up you'll get a nice star shape and let's go ahead and right click and rasterize that layer and then what we want to do is we want to give this star some highlights and some some um, uh, dark edges to give it some shape um, but what we're gonna do for with that is let's make a duplicate layer of the star and this layer let's uh, let's go ahead and dodge some areas so I'm using my dodge tool and I'm gonna set this to 200 and let's just go ahead and find make some some light sides to this layer so if we pretend let me give you a little more um, kind of background to this. So, see this white dot? This is our sun. And our sun is casting a light this way. So basically, everything on this uh, right top side will be bright. There'll be a little bit of light on this bottom right side and a little bit of light on this top left side. But the rest will all be shadow. So basically, what you want to do is keep using your, your dodge tool to find where the lights should be should hit on this star so see how we're just kinda doing those edges kinda like so now let's go ahead and delete the parts we don't want so what we're deleting is the shadow parts so um, if you make a selection from the top and you'll kinda see this as I go we know that this left side, top left side of the star is shadow, so let's just simply delete that and look what it's going to do. See how we just gave ourselves um, an edge here and we're going to give it a three dimensional um, shape and depth, but the reason I'm doing this in two different layers is because I want to have clean edges and I want to be able to um, modify this, uh, this, this star shape layer behind it. 
So turn our guides back on, and we know that a shadow is going to be cast on this kind of bottom right side. So let's select this side of the star and delete that out. And we know this whole area down here is going to be dark. So let's go ahead and get rid of the whole bottom side of the star. And see how I'm just kind of, uh, this is the part I, I, the only math class I liked was geometry, and this is why. <laughs> but if you find our points, see how they're all going to the center here? We're just finding each three-dimensional edge of this star shape. And then our last one from the center will be the bottom of this left-handed side. And delete. And there we go, we've got our highlights down a little bit. So let's do the same for the dark um, shadow side. And so we can toggle this off. And let's duplicate our star layer again. And this time, let's go ahead and use our burn tool. And we know shadow is going to be down here, so let's burn this edge, burn this edge, and let's burn the bottom. Let's not worry about the top up here just yet. All right. So now let's delete where the highlights would be from this. So from the top to the middle, let's go ahead and get rid of our highlight side. If I toggle this on, you can start seeing what's going on. And this highlight this top edge needs a little more definition here, so let's go ahead and select from the center out, and we're going to grab this top edge, and we're going to dodge that some more. There we go. We just gave it an edge from the uh, this right side here. So we we need an edge down here too. So let's go ahead and give this bottom side some depth as well. So let's bring that to the center. Come straight back out to the bottom right. Grab your burn tool and do something like that. And there you go. You're getting a three-dimensional star shape. And I think we need a little more um, we need a little more depth from the center. So let's go so let's dodge this out. There we go. All right. Voila. You have a three-dimensional star shape. Now, let's uh, let's get rid of our sun. And let's go back to the gold disk. And let's duplicate the, uh, the ring-type metal effect. And let's drag this up above our star. And this one we do want to center the eye of this down a bit like so and let's go ahead and control T and rotate it so it's a little bit different than the ring behind it and if you hold remember control select your original star shape select inverse and let's get rid of the excess of that so we don't double up on the the background here and let's go ahead and turn the opacity down some to like 40% there you go, and now we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing with the, um, the the angle gradient. So let's select both of those layers, duplicate them, drag them above your star, and let's go ahead and give those a different angle as well from the 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 ring in the background, kind of like that. And I'm going to take this top one and kind of go like that. There you go. Select, uh, control select your original star shape again. Select inverse. And uh, let's just get rid of the excess from both of those layers. And there you go. You've got your metallic star and your metallic um, shield thing. <laughs> so, another thing that I like to do is to give this some depth. So, if you go to your shape tool of your, or you go to your star and go ahead and give that an outer glow. And But the blend mode you want normal and 
we're going to choose black as a color because actually what we're doing is giving it a shadow and you can size that up kind of like that and knock the opacity down and then to help bring this up even more on our gold disc let's create a layer above everything and just do a big swatch of a white um, blast so use a bigger brush uh, let's do let's do around 500 and dead center let's just give that a blast of just white a few times kind of like so and do I want to set this to screen or hard light let's turn the opacity down just there and there you go you start to uh, give this some some depth and some shape um, one other thing you can do is to give this another edge is to uh, go back to your gold disk and let's just highlight one of these edges here create a new layer let's pick a pick some dark gold and this is gonna look funny up first but then let's go ahead and we're going to do another selection in the middle and we're going to delete um, the middle there so we give this kind of a, a ring and then you can drop the opacity down on that and you can keep you know just keep uh, making these highlight rings if you want um, just to help vary everything up a little bit give it some variety and there you go hide the guides you've got um, the the basics for doing this metallic um, effect you can really um, push this further and get some more deeper um, shadows and lights by using different blending modes and whatnot but I just wanted to show you kind of the the, the bare bones the basics of how this is done I uh, hope this makes sense hope it helped and keep an eye out for more of those prestige emblems coming up and I hope you enjoyed this alright take care all and again a like or if you think it is deemed a favorite or something I really appreciate it um, it's very cool <laughs> hope this was helpful alright take care everyone later